Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Duo Group Iron Man. I keep almost saying Shattered Relics League, um, but last video, the league was going on, and I spent about 250 hours at Sand Crabs to get my melee stats up, and we ended up with 98, 99, 98. And then we finished off the video by going to Motherload Mine to get the Prospector's outfit, then we did the Falder Diary, and that's where we are now. Two videos ago, though, when the league was still going on, I spent a bunch of time chopping tea trees and prints and making them into planks and as you can see I have 34.5k teak planks which should be just enough to get me to 99 construction via mahogany homes. It's kind of weird the activity is called mahogany homes no matter like what kind of plank you're using. It's a lot cheaper, I want to get the collection log done for it and I just enjoy the method. I do already have the full carpenter's outfit and I have the plank sack. Let's just check the collection log. Okay so the only thing I still have to buy is the blueprints and then just one supply crate so I will be getting the collection log done well before I get 99 construction, but I'm still gonna be doing the method to 99. Wait, before we start, I want to do a price check of all these teak planks. It cost me like 17 or 18 mil GP, which is why I have like no cash stack right now. Um, and yeah, this is 30.5 mil worth of teak planks. I'm gonna guess this will probably take me like 100 hours to do. Oh wait, I can do the math, 3.2. Yeah, I'm 9.7 mil XP away, so I feel like 100 hours is a pretty reasonable estimate, but once we get started, and over the long term, we'll see what the XP per hour actually ends up being. If you are gonna be training construction though, don't forget to turn in all your curve bones and all your long bones before you start, because you get like the free con XP from it, but I'm just Weird because I like having these kinds of untradeable collections in the bank and just like watching them pile up I think it's cool so I'm not gonna be turning mine in but turn yours in unless you're weird like me too. Right now I do have my POH in Hosidious which is nice because there's a home you have to build right over here so it's like really close to the house portal but what I don't have is the mounted Xerix and the POH because there's like a couple or a few homes that you have to build in the actual city of Hosidius. And that's quite a bit of a run from the POH portal, which is what I was doing before. Um, I don't have the mounted Xerix because you need 5,000 Lizardman Fangs to build that, uh, which I could break these down for 1,300 and I have 2,500. So I would be like 1,200 Fangs short if I did want to build that in the POH. I thought I would end up getting all the things I needed from Shamans going for the Warhammer, but of course I got lucky. I think it was like 2,700 KC that I got it at. So instead of just like camping out Shamans for a bit longer or doing the chest or whatever, I'm just gonna like use the actual Xerix thing. Oh, does it cap at 1,000 charges? I never knew that. Um, but yeah, I'll just have that equipped, and then I'll just use the Glade Teleport to get there. I guess it is still faster than having it mounted in the POH anyway, so it is still going to save time. And then once I start doing raids, you get way more fangs than you could ever go through. And I figure the odds of me actually going through all these fangs before I start chambers eventually is very, very low, because that is a lot of teleports there I have already. Unfortunately, it would be extremely inconvenient for me to be on the Lunar Spellbook while I'm trying to do home, so I'm going to be on the regular Spellbook so I can use all these teleports. It's just funny of like the irony of the construction cape allowing you to be on the Lunar Spellbook to do homes faster, but if you get to the point where you have the con cape, you probably wouldn't be trained construction, unless you're a freaking nerd who cares about ranks, Psh, imagine. Anyways, got the XP tracker all set up. If you're curious about like my gear setup and inventory and all that, just take a screenshot here if you want or something, save that to your screenshots folder. Uh, and then with that, let's repair the first thing on the grind. To 99 starting from level 85 and then how many homes have i done in total does it tell you at the bottom here we're starting with 962 homes completed i've done a couple hours of construction so far and i'm already below 100k xp per hour which i mean that's what i was expecting but if i'm that low already it's probably going to be even lower over time but i need some kind of afk activity to do so I'm going to go back to Motherload Mine because it's pretty chill. It kind of sucks because I'm going to have to like redo my inventory and some of my gear each time that I want to go there. But I mean, compared to playing a UIM, the amount of time that takes to like set up for these different activities is just like nothing. I've, I've gotten so spoiled, man. Imagine the first level gained in a construction video not being a construction level. Here we go, 78 mining coming at you from Lem. 86 construction. I don't know if you remember, right before the league started, I was doing a little bit of Slayer and I got a greater demon task. I want to go to Zami. Uh, so what Spook is doing now is also Slayer uh, going for a Zami task or a greater demon task. And then once she gets that, I guess she'll hold off on it and then we'll go together after I get 99 con. I kind of regret not doing Tears of Guthics every week while the league was going on, but better to get back into it sooner than later, right? 14k XP. 
Yeah, that would add up quite a bit. Oh well. 87 con. 88. I told myself I want to get 1 million construction XP gained today, and with that, there is a million con XP. It has been a really long day, but the best part about it is I only have to do that like seven and a half or eight more times till I get to 99. I saw a dragon impling, so you know I had to go catch it, yes? Is that the is that my first time catching a DM? If only we actually needed those. I'm sorry, Iron Man. Yeah, it's my first time catching one. I think it was during the league I had gotten an 83 Hunter um, from like catching a Crystal Impling. So there, that's cool. That's cool. Sorry. 89 Con. 90. 91. That is level 92 construction. And in celebration of this massive milestone, we are going to complete the collection log. Well, not, not the whole collection log, but... Mahogany Homes collection log. It's like I spend all day doing construction just to get like a two second clip for the video. So here's something I can actually show you. We're gonna buy the Hosidius blueprints, which is 2000 points. As you can see, I have way more points than I'll ever need, but let's buy the blueprints. And actually, let's also buy a supply crate too. I'll just buy one just to get for the collection log. These blueprints are just like a redecoration for the POH. I think we actually have to use them with him to recolor it or recolor the POH to Hosidius house for 5K. He is gonna take them away but now we've just permanently unlocked the ability to change it to that, which I don't want to keep it at that, and I probably will never make it that again because I love my desert look with the whitewashed stone. I scammed out my GP. Oh well, back to construction. Wait, not yet, I have to show you the log. Oh, beautiful green text, Mahogany Homes, all done. Okay, back to Khan. Whoa, Dragon Harpoon, yo, hey, nice. Yeah, that'll be pretty sweet for, uh... Temper Ross, yeah. I just saw Spook got a Leaf Blade sword, so I, I walked over to her room to congrats her, and then I saw that she was killing Turoths with a Leaf Bladed sword, uh, just the one that I had given her in the past, I guess, and I thought I had given her my Leaf Blade axe, I thought I might have gone to them, but she didn't have it, and I'm like, well, in the future, I can just, just like ask for whatever like armor or gear that you need, because obviously I'm just doing construction, and I'm not going to need it for that, and this motherfucker says, I'll make sure to axe you in the future, like, hang around Mudkip too much. Hello, there is another construction level 93. Well, 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 there is a game update today, and let me tell you, I have never been so glad that game updates happen at like 4 a.m. my time because there is a rollback, and the, I think the servers were offline for like six hours or something, apparently. I, however, get to sleep through the whole thing and just wake up to see all the drama on Twitter. The update from today is Guardians of the Rift, which is the new runecrafting minigame. And I'm not going to be doing it right away, but I have to eventually get 77 runecraft for blood runes. And there's also collection log stuff that comes with this too, so it'll be a good excuse to go for 77 runecraft using this method. There's a new pet, as well as a transmog for the old runecrafting pet that comes with this update. Runecrafting skilling outfit, oh, I think it's the transmog for the pet. A ring, yeah, there, there's a few things. I'll just discover them eventually once I do the minigame. For UIMs, when you have a death pile, the timer will be paused when you're offline, so if you get DC'd or whatever, uh, this will be a lifesaver for you. And I just assumed that that was the thing that caused all the glitches and why they had to do the rollback, but I don't know. And then there's actually some pretty big things in the other changes section. You can now leave your clan chat, not like permanently leave, but you can like temporarily leave. So hardcores can join clans now without worry if they want to like go into the wildy or whatever. I haven't even heard of this glitch, but you, I guess, used to get disconnected if you typed 80 characters into the GIM chat channel. <laughs> I haven't heard of that, but they fixed that. And then they removed the delay for crafting essence on altars, so I guess that's gonna speed things up a little bit. And then there is something else I saw on Twitter. Wait, let me find it. Well, I can't find it anymore, but I saw someone post on Twitter. They were crafting gold tiaras. So I guess there's a new item added into the game that was gold tiaras, and they were getting 116k crafting XP per hour, just you know, smelting the gold bars into tiaras out of furnace, which is insane because once you get to late game on Iron Man, you essentially have unlimited gold bars just from like going for 99 smithing or whatever. So that's just like free, efficient crafting XP that's waiting in every Iron Man's bank. So I don't know if they're gonna nerf that or uh, like get rid of that or whatever, but as of right now, you can get a lot of XP crafting gold bars into tiaras, unless they nerfed already, I don't know. Um, oh yeah, and then there's a new quest that came into the game too. Uh, whoa, oh yeah, they changed the quest list. You can like organize it. Uh, they added this one, Temple of the Eye. I'm not in a rush to get the quest cape, but we'll get it eventually, of course. For now though, let's get back to the con training. How many times will I say that this video? Okay, well that was fast. Apparently it was 67 crafting XP and they changed it to 35 crafting XP, so... <laughs> 
<laughs> Never mind about that. Hey, it's still some kind of crafting XP though, because I think the best thing you can make before for XP was the gold amulets, which gave 30. I refresh Twitter and this is the first thing I see, just Madaiz and memeing about the gold bars. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's literally me right now. Heck, Hander has been defeated. <laughs> Freaking noob. 90... 94. I came up with a new AFK activity instead of mining, which I don't really have like a direct need or reason to go there, which would help me with anything. I'm gonna start going to barb fishing instead to get fishing up because 96 fishing, or I could just do like 91 with the boost. I would need that for the Mauritania Elite Diary, which would have a perk, uh, giving me like the full per XP from the Bone Crusher. I'm still like re-remembering what items I have on this account because I'm still used to what I had on Shattered Relics. I wasn't sure if I had Anglers, but I do still have, or I do have the Anglers outfit on this account. Oh, this reminds me, I meant to show this earlier while I was streaming today. Spook was training prayer and she was getting so many levels because she still needs to get 70 so we can go to Zami together and she'll actually have piety because of course piety is going to be really important. But she gained a bunch of levels and logged out and before she logged out, we were ranked 24 overall for the duo group Iron Man high scores. And I haven't really been going over it a lot lately because I just kind of stopped really caring so much, especially because we both didn't really play the accounts that much during the league or we just kind of half-assed with the AFKing on the side. Um, but after she logged out, we moved back into rank 20 on the front page. So we're back on the front page for duo group Iron Man. We'll see how long we can hold that for. Unfortunately, uh, with just doing construction, I won't be gaining too many total levels over the next week. And there's 80 fishing. Another thing I just remembered I forgot to mention before was that Spook did end up getting the Greater Demons task, which was like a couple days ago, so uh, we're all set for whatever. Well, not yet, because she has to get her prayer up and get a couple upgrades like Fire Cape and stuff, but yeah, we're, we're set for the Slayer tasks. 95 construction. Okay, I thought of an epic prank. I'm gonna go to my POH, because right now Spook's using it to train prayer because I have the teleport to the Wildy Altar, um, the Gorak teleport, which she's been using. So she's gonna enter and then it's gonna be epic. God, I, I'm so funny. <laughs> By the way, if you didn't know, I think I showed this last video. Um, you can now enter your teammates POHs even if they're not home as long as you're on the same world. And to build a Gorak portal in the POH, you need 96 magic, or you can boost for it if you're building in the portal, but she does not have that, which is why she has to use my POH. Yeah, basically, I do have to hop worlds if her world uh, has like a PK in it, but it's not really a big deal. It's pretty late right now, too. Ah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, true, true. 96 construction. Doing a little bit of fishing every day adds up. There is 81. Spook's getting really close to 70 prayers. She's at 67, but she used up all her supplies. So I'm gonna give her these dragon bones and she could use what she needs to finish that up. Oh, she gave me my arrows back. She was questing earlier. Okay. Oh, the game is being really harsh. Look at that. <laughs> Perhaps they should stick to scaling. Ooh, now give me my bones back. There's been quite a few people in my stream who were surprised about this, and something that I didn't realize was such a misconception, but uh, just to help any of you out, in case you didn't know, you don't need to take your planks out of the plank sack when you're building stuff, it just takes them out of there automatically. Also, there's a plugin to see the amount of planks in there, I think it's just called Plank Sack from the plugin hub on Runelite. 97. Con. If I spend like 10 hours going for a level, you know I'm gonna try and get every second I can out of a clip. I swear I keep seeing ninja implings, but I just don't care enough to go grab the net. Um, but now with 84 Hunter, I can catch them barehanded. Also just fought Hispori for the first time since the league ended because I shamed myself into telling myself I should be doing farm runs, but I don't want to do farm runs unless I have the bombless bucket, which I did get one, but I gave it to Spook already, so. Hopefully I can get a second one at some point. Dimp, dimp. Sorry, Iron Man. Oh, nice, baby dragon bones, that's so good. Right after Spook got 70 prayer. Spook's about to start doing barrows right now, so I'm giving her some gear, and I'm also gonna make her a fury, even though I don't know if she's gonna use it for barrows, but I'm gonna make her that fury. I think it was an onyx I got from Zora. Fury number two has been created. Pog. I'm eating right now. Now we each have one. Yay. 98 construction. The hardest level is now out of the way because 97 to 98 is the most amount of XP between levels that doesn't get you a 99. We are now on the final stretch. Okay, last drop of her that I'm going to spoil uh, just because she got a Carol's crossbow and that means we finished Carol's combined together. And I remember I really, oops, I really wanted to get the Carol's crossbow for Zora before I got the blowpipe. 
but I never end up getting it. But now, of course, after we have the blowpipe, we get the girl's crossbow. Her video should be going up before this one anyways, but next video, if she doesn't finish Guthans, then I'll most likely end up joining her at Barrows 2. I was wondering, is, uh, is Chris Rock related to the... Are they like cousins or something? I just got the lamp, so maybe I'll just save that and get the 99 using the lamp. I'll be like a UIM down one inventory spot. God, the game mode's so hard. I don't know how, how they can deal with it. I should have come up with a speech. Okay, well, thank you guys very much for being here. There's just like an insane amount of people. Um, all right, speech. Uh, so after 10 days of training construction, locking myself into the construction skill and a little bit of birdhouse runs and fishing and stuff. Here we go. 99 construction on the group Iron Man. Oh, yes. That was an expensive cape to get. This is my whole cash stack now, 350k. And we'll talk to, oh, it's the wrong house. 99k. And there we go. Put that on. Of course, we gotta do the emote. And of course, the skill cape is so good because you can teleport to any POH portal in the game or your own POH as well, unlimited times with the teleports. If we go to the teleport menu, unlimited teleports. Thank you guys again for being here. That's freaking sick. I, I was being arrogant. I just completely ignored the our, our group chat. Thanks. Okay, let's do some math here and check some of the calculations. So first off, with the Xerix Talisman, I started with a thousand charges. Uh, so I used up about 500, and this is going from level 85 to 99, by the way. It was 10 days, about 100 hours. I averaged a bit over 100 KXP per hour. I guess it was like 95 hours or something. We'll just call it 100. I mean, I'm definitely not the most efficient player. For the steel bars, I used 1462, so about 1500. And I don't think I mentioned it, but I got I think I got all the steel bars mainly from gargoyles from when I was doing Slayer, and I... I think I made some of my own steel bars early on at the Blast Furnace. Although you could argue there's even more time spent, like during the league I had to spend the time chopping all those trees. Um, and then even before that, making all the GP to even be able to do construction. I do have a few hundred teak planks left over, but I think overall I, s I spent about 17.5 mil GP to get 9.7 million construction XP, which means it came out to about 1.8 GP per XP. Now I'm going to log out, I have to log right back in too because Spook needs to use my POH for Barrows to update the high scores. Let's check him out. I gotta show you something that I, I found out halfway through my construction training. On Temple OSRS in the top right, there's this section for group Iron Man, and then we could sort by skill high scores, go to individual players, and you could see this is for duo for two person group Iron Man teams. If we go over to construction, I am rank one. This just hasn't updated yet, but I mean, obviously, I'm 99. I'm the first duo group Iron Man account to get 99 construction. I'm well aware this is like a very, very strange flex that no one asked about, but I thought that was like really cool that I'm the first duo GIM to achieve that. And we're not like necessarily really even specifically going for high scores, especially because during the league we lost a lot of ranks, but I think it was earlier this video I showed we made it back into the front page. And since then we've made it up to rank 18 at this point. Um, like I said, we're not really going for it, but it just kind of happens over time just from playing the game, you know. Now, as for the leftover carpenter points, I have 10.8K. I have everything unlocked. And the only thing that's really worth buying at this point would be supply crates, but just in the off chance they do ever add anything else into the shop, which I don't think they would, but just in case, I'll save my points for that. And then eventually when Spook decides to go for 99 construction, I'll just buy a bunch of supply crates then. And that way we'll get a bunch of free planks and other construction supplies from them. And yeah, the con cape is just gonna be super nice for like PVM, for example. Like I'll be able to be on any spellbook I want. Like for Zora, I'll be on Lunars and I won't have to make house tablets anymore. I'll just be able to use the con cape and that way I can use Vengeance and Cure Me or God Wars, for example. I'll be able to be on like Thralls or Ancients or something. And again, I won't have to worry about making house tablets. Another example of its uses is that like every time I get a Serb task, for example, I won't have to move my house to Taverly and spend time and GP doing that. I can just use it to teleport to Taverly. It's super good for getting around for clue scrolls. There's probably a bunch of other things I could think of, but yeah, super useful cape. I'm very glad I got it. And as long as we're both still having fun and we keep enjoying and playing the game mode, we do plan to eventually max anyways. 
Um, we're not like rushing max, of course, like we just, you know, event over time we'll get skilling supplies from bossing and whatnot, and that'll eventually help us max. And I figure if we're gonna max anyways, may as well get the con cape sooner than later because it's such a useful cape to have. And it's so weird going from the early stage of group Iron Man where I was making daily videos to then playing the league where I was also making daily videos. This is really like the first long grind I feel like I've had, like just straight up going for something for a hundred hours. Um, and I haven't had this feeling in a while where I can actually play the game again after grinding something out for so long. So next video, we're going to be going to Barrows and trying to finish off the Gotham set, which we still need two pieces for. With that said, if you want to check out what my duo teammate Spoot Dog's been up to, you can check out a link to her channel, which is linked below in every video description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you have a great day, and I will see you again next time at Barrows.